What's up guys? We're back at it again, checking out some more RoboCo. Today we're going to be playing the stage called Across the Goo. I have played other RoboCo stages before, so check out the link in the description for the RoboCo playlist so you don't miss it. Also, make sure you leave a like in this video if you want to see some more RoboCo. Alright, so let's just hop right in and see Across the Goo. Turn the red valve to stop a goo leak. Turn off any green valve to slow the leak and don't touch the goo. Stop the goo leak and save the day. <laughs> yes. All goo leaks are simulated and meet Roboco Safety Council guidelines. Well, that's good. That's good. If they didn't meet those guidelines, oh boy, we're going to have some trouble. There it is. There's the, the red valve. We got to shut off. We got a giant switch. All right. Oh, there. I see the green valve. Okay. A practice valve. That's pretty good, actually. I, I really like a practice valve there. What kind of robot am I going to build? Well, first, let's take a look around and see see if I can see anything. Nothing. Oh, a sandwich. That's always good. Nothing on these shelves. Um, pair of pliers. Wait a second, wait a second. Is that a ray gun? Hold on. Is that a ray? Like, can I actually pick that up and use it? Can I go pew pew? All right, so it seems like we just got to get across. Uh, it, there doesn't seem to be very many ways to get across. Maybe these pipes over here. Yes. Well, I think the first thing that I want to do is practice valve. I want to try and make sure that I can actually turn the valve. Uh, so let's go ahead and build a robot. I love how easy it is to build a simple robot super quick. I built this in like 10 seconds. All right, so let's actually put something on this to turn the valve. All right, so this is my first concept for a robot. It's basically, it's a simple robot that can just drive around. And you can see that there is this arm thing in the front with a claw on it. And it's spinning around right now just because there's a bearing. Uh, so if I press E, I can clamp the claw. And if I press Q, it <laughs> turns a lot faster than I thought it would. But uh, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That claw is going nuts, though. So let's see if we can drive up to the practice valve right here line ourselves up a little bit you just need to send i'm not sure if i built my arm long enough now that i'm looking at it grab the handle holy moly holy moly i can turn the valve super easy <laughs> all right i'm not sure if this is actually a good design though now that i'm looking at it there's actually goo on the floor over there right next to the red switch so this might not be the way to do it or i could just put my arm off to the side you know what let's do that Go back to editing. All right, so this is what's going on with my claw. What? Wait, what's actually going on with my claw? Are you okay, claw? <laughs> so this is the new design for the robot, and that's for when I do actually get across, I don't actually have to drive over top of the goo that's in front of the red valve. I can uh, do this entire turning mechanism a little bit off to the side. All right, so we line up with our switch we grab onto it and now let's see oh this that is so good oh my gosh I can turn every valve in the universe like this I don't know what's going on with the claw though it's just a claw on a loose bearing I don't know what's going on with that let's see what this uh, switch over here does I should be able to use this anyway even though it's not for the intended purpose do I gotta pull it I pulled it now what Oh, oh, that is, that's a way to get across. And also to electrify yourself. But if you can grab that, you can swing across technically. So let's go ahead and try it. I still want to build a, a better robot to actually get across, but I think I might be able to reach it. Oh, <laughs> it's very close. What? What happened? What happened? There's something going on with this claw. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Why is my claw going nuts? Instead of a bearing, I used just a regular DC motor and I turned down the torque all the way to zero, the power all the way to zero. So it's acting like a bearing, but it's a DC motor instead. And that seems to have fixed the, uh, the, the, the glitchiness of whatever that was. Yeah, totally loose, loosey goosey. As long as I can still turn the valve without touching any goo, I think we've done it. 
Oh, that is beautiful. Now that I actually have a claw that's not freaking out on me all the time, uh, let's try this again. See if I can actually swing across or something. There we go, got it, got it, got it. Barely, barely long enough to actually reach this. Oh my god, I almost have to drive off. Oh, oh, oh. No, come back, come back. Come on, come on. How am I touching you but not grabbing you? There we go, I got it, I got it. All right, now I should be able to just, um, swing? Swing like spy, oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm in the goo. So I think now let's focus on a way to actually get across without touching any goo. And also I noticed this uh, secret objective over here where it says get across the goo without touching any pipes. So that was my original plan was just to drive across one of these pipes over here. But there is this massive red platform in front of us and I think we can use that super easy. So first things first, let's get to building. All right, this looks like it's gonna work. So what I have here is just a simple robot. It's got a lot of pistons on it, but check out what these pistons can actually do. It can lift my entire robot. So the idea behind this is that I could extend, uh, what is it, the back? Super long telescoping pistons. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. And the front, so then these will allow me to lift my robot and then, wait, I didn't really think this through. Um, oh wait, 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 I did think this through. Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. I actually need to show you the example. Okay, okay, like this. If my robot is like this, and then I lift myself up. Ooh, the power is not super good. Um, wait, which one do I have to do? Like this, there we go. And that's gonna transfer my robot to the other side, and then I put my robot down again. And then I'm good to go. All right, so let's actually put it into action and see if I can make this work. Cross this gap just with piston powers. All right, so that's the, no, 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 not you, not you. You, there we go. It doesn't go very far, oh my gosh, that doesn't go very far. I might need to make the pistons even longer. I, I think I could barely get away with this. Look at my front wheels, oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's try this. Lift myself up. Here we go. And then transfer my robots to the other side. Most of my way. Oh my gosh. Is this going to work? I have no idea. Let's leave my piston extended just in case. And put myself back down. Oh, it works. It works. Oh my gosh. It works. No, 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 no. Not you. There we go. <laughs> it worked. Oh, heck yeah, it worked! Get across the goo without touching any pipes. Nice! Okay, now can I actually, uh-oh, can I actually operate? This is a little bit of a problem, I did not think this through. I might have to move my claw thing. Shoot, I can't, can't turn the green valve. But we can at least try doing something about this. Oh, there's a couple of secrets here. What do they say, what do they say? I can't read that one. This one, access the laboratory, the laboratory, card scanner. Oh, that's what the card on the pipes was for. All right, well, let's at least, oh, <laughs> don't touch the goo now. Let's at least do the main objective. Property gooed. I didn't know that was a penalty. Just be very careful. Oh my gosh, be very careful not to touch any goo. Gotta get lined up here. You know, it might just be a good idea to put this uh, claw thing on pistons so that I can, oh, I touched the goo. You know what, whatever, since I touched the goo, it doesn't really matter. There we go, I'm lined up. Grab the thing. There we go. There we go. Main objective complete. Let's see if I can do anything extra here. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can turn any of the uh, green valves over there, but I think I did at least one main objective and I feel pretty good about myself for that. I <laughs> got a crazy huge budget just to do one thing. I should be able to do it again 
without touching any goo. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's see if I can actually do that without any penalties and without touching the goo. I sh it should be easy enough. I think uh, it was just an operating error at that point. Try again, we're gonna drive all the way. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't drive off now. Don't drive off. Okay, extend my forward piston as far as I can go. So now I can drive my front wheels off without having to worry a little bit. Yeah, look at that. That's actually really good. That's actually really, really good. Oh, I had no idea this design was so good. So now I can lift my robot up, get myself across, then bring it back down, and no, 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 no. Close my pistons. There we go, close my pistons. <laughs> Forget my controls now and then. All right. Got across the goo without touching any pipes. Oops, oops, oops. Now, what am I gonna do about this property? Yeah, these cones are a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue for me. Let's um. Okay, let's go right here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, this is this is good. This is good. This is actually really good because now I can just do oh. Just very carefully push. There you go, push that pylon out of the way. There's not much I can do about that other one, huh? I gotta go like this, oh! Oh my gosh, don't fall in, don't fall in. Don't fall in, please don't fall in. Before I hook onto you. Oh, there we go, there we go, and just drive it out. Just drive it out. Doesn't matter where I put it now. We're, yeah, we're good, we're good. We're <laughs> sorta of good. Oh, okay. <laughs> get it, you can get out of here, pylon. Oh, ho, ho. there we go, there we go. I think we're good. I think we're good to do as much as we want now. Ah, oh, I could just use my pistons here. No, no, not you. You, there we go, there we go. Bam, just like that. If I need, I really need to like balance myself or like accidentally drive off the edge or something. There's no way that I can grab the card. If I only had a claw, if I only had a claw there, I could grab the card. But this doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. As a matter of fact, I can just grab the, the valve right now and use that to line myself up a little bit better. Oh, 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 oh. Let's not, uh, let's not deal with any weird, oh, oh, no, I'm a dingus. Why did I do that? I, 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 oh, I extended that piston so that it wasn't in the way, and then I put it in the way. I'm a huge dingus. Oh. Let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. Put that front piston out there, so now I can just drive off. There you go, just like that. Oh, this is so good. I'm really, really happy with this. Bring my robot down. Transfer my weight across, bring my robot up, retract that piston, and we're across. Super easy, super, super easy. Now there must be something that I can do with this, with this green thing here. Oh no, no! Aw, <laughs> oh, cut caution, goo. I, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dingus. I think I'm just gonna do this, uh, no, no green valves. If I can get at least two out of the three main objectives, I will feel accomplished. Transfer my weight across. I'm so happy with that. Uh, put myself back down, retract my back piston, and we're across. You know, now that I'm here again though, I, I, I'm desperately, I desperately wanna try this. How can I do this? How can I do this? No, 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 no. Yeah, like that. How much do I have to turn it for it to, to turn? Eh, eh, eh. Oh, that's that's pretty good. That's making some progress. Eh. Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't even realize I built a robot that could do everything. Come on now, <laughs> come on now. Do everything in the universe. <laughs> okay, okay now. I just hope I don't do anything too crazy. 
Yes! Yes! I'm so close. I'm so close to, like, actually doing a complete turn. Yes, that was a good one. That was good. That was good. I'm turning this valve. Don't tell me I'm turning it the wrong way or something. How much do I have to turn it? Oh, that was good. That was good. Making some great progress on this green valve. Except my time is <laughs> probably not going to be any speed run time. See, now that I've turned the green valve twice, like two full turns, I'm looking to get the three main objectives. There we go. Got it. Yes. Oh, yeah. I feel so good. Feel accomplished. Yes. All right. Now all I got to do is the red valve. Should be easy enough. I just got to deal with those dang pylons again. And this cart. This darn cart. How about I just hook... Yeah, there you go. Hook the cart right on out of here. Oh, my God. I don't... Okay, you know what? Don't play around with it too much. I don't want to get any property damage or nothing. <laughs> just uh, sort of slide my way in here. There we go. There we go. Very carefully. There you go. Very carefully. We're just going to angle this back arm thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, there we go. That should be good. Angle the back arm thing. It's so close to the ground that it pushes the pylons a little bit. But if I can get it hooked on like that, then I've got nothing to worry about. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's one pylon out of the way forever. I never need to worry about it. Now this, actually, you know, why didn't I think of this before? I should be able to just do this. Move it into place, and then retract it. Man, I'm such a dingus. It's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy. Oh, man. Let's do that again, actually. Let's just do that again. I gotta pay attention, though, to make sure that I don't accidentally extend it into some goo. There we go. And retract. There we go. And then just push it out of the way. Just push it out of the way. Just shove it in the corner. There we go. There we go. Now we should be able to just line ourselves up right next to the thing. Oh, but my claw has to be on the correct side. Let's just extend this out. Get it out of the way. Sorry, key card. I, I didn't want you anyway. You're a secret objective for another day. But now that that back arm's out of the way, I really don't have to worry about accidentally touching the goo. Which is exactly what I'm looking for. Just my wheel. My wheel I have to pay attention to. What? How did I touch goo? Where did I touch goo? Oh, it's the front. The front touched goo. No. <laughs> no. Ugh. All right. Well, since we're here, let's make sure that I can actually do this and turn the red valve. That arm thing's a little bit in the way. You know what? I might make them smaller. But yeah, that turns off... There you go. That turns off the red valve. I'm a dingus. I'm, I'm a huge dingus. I'm a huge smelly dingus. Extending the front one would have also worked. Oh, I'm such a dingus. All right. Final attempt. Let's actually try to get the three main objectives. I can't... I got... Why do I keep touching goo? Like, it's like I'm addicted to touching goo now. Now we gotta do this crazy task of, <laughs> crazy, crazy task, somehow moving this valve. Slowly but surely, I gotta turn this valve like three times. Nice! Okay, I finally got the green valve. Takes a little bit way too long for that, but let's move on to the red valve. Whew! Same way that we did before, we gotta move all that equipment out of the way. Make sure I don't destroy anything. I don't want a loss of points like last time. Just get that right out of the way. Shove it into the corner. You know, I think that's fine. Well, I gotta remember, don't touch the goo. Gotta pay very close attention to where my things even are. Okay, 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 okay. Be very careful, very careful. Put myself in the right spot. 
Oh my god, no, 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 no doing that. That should be good to... Okay, okay, okay. There we go, just right on past it. That should be good to hook on. To hook on. To hook onto the pylon. You know what, that's fine too. That's fine too, just push it off to the side over there and I think we're good. And now this pylon. There we go. There we go. See, that's how you do it. That's that's exactly how I wanted to do it. And now this way, I can just shove it to the side. Yes, 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 yes. That's exactly it. Just move it on there. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Back piston, get on out of here. If you're way out there, it's impossible for you to touch the goo. Front piston, you too. You just extend as, you know, however you want. You're good to go too. As a matter of fact, you actually helped us move into place. So as long as you're not dragging anything <laughs> where you're not supposed to, there we go. We should only pay attention to our wheels now. Come on, come on. Did I get it? I got it. I'm a little bit far from the valve, but it should still work. Got it! Yes! Aw, oh, three objectives done! And my high score? 5,284. So it might be a little bit of an expensive robot. I might have taken quite a long time, but this is actually what I love to see about Roboco. There's definitely gonna be some speedrunners that try to do it in the fastest time with the most cost-effective robot. But hey, I feel pretty good about myself just doing the three main objectives. And I'm looking forward to trying this again in a future video to see if I can get all these secret objectives as well. Wait, did I actually get two of the secret objectives? How did I get five? What? Oh, I got one secret. Yeah, 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 that was to go across the goo without touching it. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video for today. Make sure you leave a like if you like RoboCo videos and you wanna see more on this channel. You know, one thing that I actually really like about RoboCo is how active the developers are with their own community, and they do have a Discord where you can give suggestions for the game, you can participate in any beta testing that they have, and just overall, I'm really happy to see this game and where it's gonna be going in the future. So I highly recommend that if you like RoboCo, definitely join their Discord. They've got a lot going on with their community. Also, if you guys have any other suggestions for how I would have done that challenge differently, or if you have any robot ideas that you'd like for me to try in a future video, leave them in the comments down below. I'm sure there's all kinds of ways that I could have done this challenge, like trying to turn the valve with the friction of a wheel instead of actually grabbing it with a claw or something like that, so there's all kinds of different ways to do it, and I'd love to see your suggestions down in the comments below. But that's it for this video, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.